This may not be the real thing, but after years of work, this is surely the closest Muslims will come to recreating the Minbar Salahuddin, as it's known in Arabic. It's located in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which was built on the site where the Prophet Muhammad is believed to have ascended to heaven by night on a winged horse. It's the third holiest site in Islam. In 1969, the old pulpit, a priceless 1,000-year-old wooden ivory creation, was burnt down by a Christian extremist. Dennis Rohan had hoped to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque so that a Jewish temple could be rebuilt on the site to hasten the return of the Messiah, as he thought. But he failed, and now the replacement carries a great deal of symbolic importance for those who helped bring it about. The Islamic Waqf, the body that cares for Muslim holy places in Jerusalem, believes that the replacement of the destroyed pulpit is a reassertion of Muslim determination to safeguard the mosque. إذن هو يمثل حادث حادثة كبيرة وهامة جدا في التاريخ الإسلامي. نحن الآن بعد أن حرق وبعد أربعين عاما من هذا الحريق يعاد إلى ما كان. هذا إن دل على شيء إنما يدل على أن هناك تصميما مستمرا على أن يبقى الأقصى مسجدا إسلاميا حتى يرث الله الأرض والأرض ومن عليها. Costing 1.5 million dollars worth of Jordanian money, the new pulpit was designed as closely as possible to the original destroyed one. فنية فريدة غير مسبوقة وبالتالي عندما حرق لم يتبقى منه إلا بضع قطع صغيرة هذا يتشكل من 16500 قطعة علينا أن نعيد 16500 قطعة وأن نعيد أماكنها وأن نفكر كيف كانت عن طريق خبراء في الزخرفة الإسلامية وبالتالي هذا أخذ الكثير من الوقت وعملية التنفيذ لم تأخذ أكثر من أربع سنوات وهي مدة عادية قضية التجميع هي التي أخذت وقتا طويلا not surprisingly, some right-wing Israelis have opposed the work. Many Jews call the same site the Temple Mount and believe the mosque is built atop the remains of two destroyed Jewish temples. But the Islamic Waqf says the work is a message to Israelis. <laughs> بتاريخ العريق إلى هذا المكان في هذه الظروف المظلمة هي رسالة لهؤلاء وهم يفكرون صحيح بأن المسجد الأقصى سيبقى إسلامي راسخ وهذا المنبر يؤكد هذا الرسوخ وإن شاء الله هو بشرى الخلاص من الاحتلال Former Jerusalem Mufti Sheikh Ikram Sabri led Muslim prayers from the new pulpit on Friday Sabri's father was the last to deliver a sermon from the original pulpit before it was destroyed and while this may not be the military victory or Palestinian state that Muslims crave, it is important symbolically. That's because it gives Palestinians and the Muslim world renewed hope in the battle over the Al-Aqsa Mosque.